Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I am going to show you one of the most powerful and skillful attack strategy. TH11 Queen Charge Lavaloon. It is probably the most powerful and popular attack strategy in entire game. That's why it is by far the most used strategy in COC esports. But for normal players like me and you, it is considered as the most difficult attack strategy. I will tell you how to attack every genre of bases with this strategy. So stick around till the end to master this one. Let's start with the troop composition. This is the general army composition. Obviously, you have to change few things according to the target base. You can also use balloons in CC if you don't have access to the Dragon Rider. Take a look at this base. The main threats to this TH-11 attack strategy are Queen, CC, Eagle Artillery, and Multi-Infernos. The main aim of Queen Charge is to take down CC and enemy Queen along with couple of major defenses while also creating the pothing for Lavaloon. We will deploy her here to enter the Eagle compartment. Baby Dragon and King will be used to funnel our Queen into that compartment. We will drop a jump spell here to give her access to the multi-inferno. Queen will take down all these things. That will leave us with this perfect pop for the Lavaloon. They will move like this. The Stone Slammer will be used to keep the loons centered and tank the defenses for them. Haste Spell and Warden Ability will get us through the Multi-Inferno. Simple plan. Now let's execute it. Alright, let's start with deploying the Queen. I added a few sneaky goblins to speed her up and help in funneling. I used the King on top side to secure the Town Hall. Always deploy the king on high value side and baby dragon on low value side for funneling. Remember to use coco loons to avoid losing healers to the black mines. I also brought couple of wall breakers to redirect our queen in case she goes outside. The enemy CC is out now. This is the hardest CC for any queen charge attack. But with the help of poison and freeze spell, queen can easily handle them. Always make sure that your queen is fighting the CC under rage spell. Or else she can die through her ability to super minions. The jump spell will give her access to all 3x bows and the multi inferno. The pothing is created for Lavaloon. So we can use the remaining rage on queen and start the Lavaloon part. As I said in my zap Lavaloon guide, don't deploy all your loons in the beginning. Hold on half of them. Use the remaining balloons surgically on outside defenses to keep the main pack centered as they move forward. Always use spells to protect loons from splash defenses. There is no way anyone can fail after getting this much value from the queen. Up next, I will show you how to attack a ring base with this strategy. So check that out. This is a very popular TH11 ring base. Ring bases are generally very hard for any queen charge attack. The CC is on the opposite side to the queen and eagle. So what we will do is charge our queen directly towards eagle to take it down nice and early. The king will take down all these things. We will use sneaky goblin and wall breaker to move him in. We will use a flame flinger in this one to funnel on the other side. It will take down all these things. The CC is lurable here. So we will lure them using balloons once the enemy queen goes down. The queen will take them down with the help of poison spell. We will use a jump spell here to give our queen access to both infernos and town hall. The lavaloon will follow this path afterwards. The CC troops from the flinger will also reinforce them. Spells will be used to get through high damage area. You understood the plan? Now let's execute it. Let's start with deploying the flame flinger as it is very slow. I used a loon to trigger any hidden Tesla. We can deploy the queen now. Coco loon again, ahead of healers to check for the black mines. The king is deployed for funneling her in. As we planned earlier. 
Always try to funnel the king to go inside a base. And take down few defenses like this one. Don't waste his value by just letting him roam outside the base. Use a rage spell when more than three defenses are attacking the queen. Always include the healers in the rage spell. The rage spell is mainly for healers, not for the queen. So try to cover both of them in rage spells, but the healers are the priority. Enemy queen is down now, so we can lure the CC using a balloon. Rage up while fighting the CC as I said in last attack. Queen will quickly take them down under rage spell. Single infernos are very dangerous for a queen charge. So we have to use freeze and invisibility spells to get through it. Alright, we can start the lava loon now as time is running out. Always start the lava loon around 140 mark to avoid the time fails. Used a haste spell to get through that high damage area as we planned. Surgical deployments to keep main pack centered as I said in last attack. We didn't need the warden ability and the remaining freeze. So we can swag them now. Up next, attack against a box base. So don't click away now. Box bases like this one are the hardest TH11 bases to attack these days. As I said in my hybrid guide, always start a queen charge from a corner while attacking box bases. So what we will do is charge our queen this way like this. She will take down all these things with the help of a jump spell. Out of them, queen and CC are our main target. We will use king to funnel her and use a wall breaker here to take down this air defense. So we can send our stone slammer here to take down eagle with almost no damage on it. That will leave this perfect straight path for the lava loon. It will move like this. The warden ability will get us through multi inferno. Enough planning. Let's do the attack now. Alright, let's start with deploying the queen. Always remember to start queen charge from any corner on such box bases. If you deploy her in the middle. Then she will be under heavy damage from the start of an attack from all directions. Due to that, she will lose all her healers. And eventually go down without getting enough value. So it's better to start from a corner. I got panicked here and used the poison on archers instead of super minions. But luckily that didn't cause any problem. And the queen handled them easily. Notice how I used an invisibility. To get through enemy queen without burning a rage spell. Alright, we can deploy the slammer to take down that eagle as time is running out. You can also use a flame flinger on box bases, like the last attack. But on this particular base, all the X bows are covering almost entire base. So it will not get full value. That's why I used slammer as much faster and safer option. But when X bows are all placed in core of a base, flame flinger is the best siege machine. There is no splash defenses left other than that multi-inferno that can cause problem to Lalo. So the loons will easily coast through the remaining defenses. You may have noticed that our main focus is queen charge, not the lava loon. Because, after such a massive queen charge, lava loon is almost for cleaning up. And just like that, we crush this base without using our CC troops. Up next, I will show you how to attack a compact base with this strategy. So don't click away now. This one is a compact base. And queen charge attacks in general are very difficult on such bases. But not the queen charge Lalo. So what we will do is. Charge our queen into this compartment to take down all these things. We will drive our king into this compartment so he will lure the CC. And queen will fight them off easily. In case if he miss out on that. We will use few balloons to lure the CC. Jump spell here will give the queen further access to the base. The lava loon will follow this path afterwards. Spells will be used to get through the core. Simple plan. Now let's execute it. Alright, let's start with the queen. 
deploy the healers once the defenses target the queen. Or else, they will go to the king. The reason to wall break him into this compartment is to take down some defenses. So there will be less damage on queen afterwards. And also to lure out the CC as I said earlier. He also took down the enemy queen, which I didn't expect it from him. Queen will easily take down the CC troops. It is very hard to control the queen on compact faces. As she can easily get distracted by closely placed buildings. But luckily for us, she is heading exactly where we wanted. Single infernos can shut down the queen with full beam. So we have to be careful while charging them. Alright, let's start the lavaloon. Now the only time this strategy will work is when you take down enemy queen. CC. And create a solid pothing for lavaloon with the queen charge. If you miss any single one out of this three, you will most likely to fail this attack. So this is why it is considered as the most difficult attack strategy in entire game. You just simply can't mess with queen charge in this one. As it is the most important phase here. If you're not good with queen charge, then practice it first in friendly challenges. Then give it a try in wars. So this is the TH11 queen charge lavaloon attack strategy tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed and learned the strategy throughout. Consider subscribing for more strategy guide videos. And don't forget to check out the TH11 playlist for other strategy guides.